By activating some of your messaging and by paying mm -hmm. attention to what's happening on the websites, you've been able to build shopper profiles. Correct. For mm -hmm. many of the customers that have come to your website. What are some of like the sort of broad customer segments that you've been looking to better understand? What does that customer look like and how can we segment it out to based on your gender and your age and your lifestyles and hit them with it in something that's truly going to resonate with them so that it will get a better response, right? Absolutely. And be able to truly hit the audiences in an omni-channel approach. But we want to have a life cycle where Correct. we are the service provider, we being the dealership, to have that customer come back and come back and service mm -hmm. by again. I think some of the other outcomes from the advertising perspective could be doing more with less. Limiting your budget by targeting better, mm -hmm. not yeah. spraying and praying. Being more efficient with, yeah. with the budgets and, and ultimately driving down the, the need, you know, for, for spend. And then <clears throat> adding to that, you know, when you start expanding, you know, where consumers are seeing the ads, you get into something I was just talking about earlier, which is the storytelling piece of it. They can start to tell more of their story. That helps with that non-linear journey that the customer is going through, ultimately see a bigger picture of why they should do business with that dealership That's that feels very personalized to them. Thanks everybody for watching. Again, Brian Davis from Orby, Emma Gall from Hudson Automotive Group, Shane Stender from Silverback Advertising. Really appreciate you spending some time with us and uh, we'll see you soon.